Hi, welcome to the Staking Geek channel. Today we're going to look at the Starknet project and the ways to earn crypto passive income, including the potential of an airdrop once the STRK token is released. I do not have any internal knowledge of this airdrop, but they are planning on releasing staking. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know you need a token for staking. With the recent Arbitrum airdrop, they rewarded users for bridging assets, conducting transactions in different value, in distinctive months, on different smart contracts. So if we look at this project, what is StarkNet? Well, they are a layer two decentralized network that leverages the power of this ZK Starks technology for scalability. ZK Starks allow blockchains to move these computations off chain off of Ethereum to verify the integrity. And it functions as a validity rollup, commonly known as zero knowledge rollup. If you see my previous video on ZK Sync era, we touched on this a little bit. It uses this cryptographic system called Starks to reduce the computation costs. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about Starks, you can come over here. Basically it's a proof system that enables the proving and verification of these computations. So it plays a key role in blockchain scalability by allowing large computations to be done off chain where it's cheaper, leaving only the verification, which requires a fraction of the computation to be done on Ethereum. So if we head back over to their website here. The features of this StarkNet include low transaction fees, so obviously, they got to be significantly lower than Ethereum. This project wouldn't exist. It looks like there's some upgrades coming. So these transaction costs are expected to decrease even further. So StarkNet is built on this programming language called Cairo. If you want to do a little bit more research on there, you can come over to CairoDying.org. Cairo is an upgraded Rust-inspired version of Cairo, allowing developers to write StarkNet smart contracts. So if you are a developer, you're looking and getting involved here, you could do a little bit more research. Who are the people behind this project? Well, it's a company called Starkware Industries. These guys are a, an Israeli-based software company that specializes in cryptography. The company employs around 70 people. They're a large team of blockchain engineers. Joseph Lubin, the founder behind Consensus, the ones that developed the MetaMask wallet, and Vitalik Buterin, Coinbase, and various other investment companies. All right, so how do we make passive income and potentially qualify for airdrops? Well, first, you're going to need a wallet. MetaMask is not going to work. They haven't created the EVM compatibility or integration, so you're going to need to download this Argin X. Go over there to that website. You can download it for Chrome or Mozilla. Once you have that set up, make sure you save your password and C phrase securely. All right, so next you're going to have to come over here to layer swap and you'll be able to swap tokens from different chains. So there's your options. So today I'm going to look at Ethereum. We're going to go over to StarkNet. So this is going to be connected to your MetaMask. This is going to be connected to your Argin X. You can bridge a minimum of 0.0083 ETH or up to five. The transaction fees are very minimal. It takes about 20 minutes and you'll receive that in your Argin X wallet. So once that's completed, you have some assets bridged over, you can come over here to this website and they have it all laid out nicely for us. So you can filter by all or just ones on mainnet. So these are the different projects. You can go here, DeFi, NFT, wallets, all sorts of different stuff. So, so today we're going to touch on 10K swap. We're going to go into Jedi swap. And we're going to touch on ZK Lend. And we're also going to touch on identity and domains on StarkNet as well as an NFT project. So if we head over here to DeFi Llama, it looks like they got $12 million locked. Not all the protocols are in here. And like I said, a lot of this stuff over here is very new. I went through a bunch of them and I chose which ones I thought would be worthwhile to focus on. So if we come over here to ZK Lend, this is a borrowing and lending protocol. Every chain needs one. So you can supply, let's say, ETH or USDC and borrow against it. Currently, there's a lot less borrowed than supplied. I'm assuming this will go up as we enter the new bull market. 
So as you're interacting with these protocols, you could potentially be qualifying for airdrops. So just keep that in mind. And next, we're going to discuss Jedi Swap. These guys are in alpha stage. They haven't been audited. And you want to invest at your own risk. Only invest the amount you're willing to lose. So if we click on I understand, you can go over here to the dashboard. So basically, you're investing in liquidity pools. So you're providing liquidity, these protocols to help them grow. They have this LP contest as well right now. So with Ethereum USDC, you're currently earning around 25, DAI E30, and 35% for wrapped Bitcoin and ETH. So once you determine which one you want to invest in, if you see my previous videos, you know, if you're putting $1,000 into this pool, they're earning around $2,600 in fees in 24 hours. You're going to receive a small amount of those for a $1,000 investment. So you want to do a little bit more research, see where you can get the most bang for your buck. But if you were to invest in this one here, you just hit that, add liquidity. Obviously, you would need... ETH and USDC, and you could receive or obtain the USDC token if you have ETH in your wallet by swapping it here under trade. And once you provide liquidity, you'll be earning part of the trading fees that are generated from this pool. And so that's Jedi Swap. Next, we're going to touch on 10K Swap, and this is similar, right? You're providing liquidity to the protocol. If we go over here to Analytics, you can see the different pools. So there's the ETH USDC. It seems like ETH USDC pools are very popular in these layer twos. So this one has around 1.5 million in liquidity. They're collecting about 1,600 in fees. So like I said, you can do your own research. And once you have the pool selected and you have those tokens evenly distributed, you can go over here and just hit add liquidity. And you could contribute your liquidity to some of these pools to start earning rewards. And as you're interacting with these protocols, like I said, you could potentially, or smart contracts, you could potentially be qualifying yourself for some airdrops if they were to happen. And the last two things I want to touch on. So this is the Stark ID or StarkNet ID. So you can claim your identity and it's free. It'll act as your StarkNet passport to represent you during your on-chain transactions. You can also register your .stark domain. It costs around $50 for three years, and you can start building your identity within this particular chain. All right, and the last thing I wanted to show you I thought was pretty cool is this Almanac. It's an NFT, so if we go over here to Gallery, you can mint an NFT. So if you like a trading day on a specific date, you can mint that. And if we look at this one, this is what the NFT looks like. So if you like the particular day, whether you're a bear or a bull, you could go in here and choose the particular time and mint that. And that's the almanac nft.xyz. So it looks like some pretty cool stuff getting developed. I'm excited to see where this project continues to progress towards. So when the StarkNet or STRK token gets launched and they introduce staking and other DeFi protocols, I'll make an update. Until then, invest at your own risk. Don't risk more than you're willing to lose. And please go subscribe to my channel to support me. Thanks for watching. Until my next video, take care. See you later.